Okay, this is going to be for the star for Aries. For those that don't know me, I've been on YouTube for a while now. I don't know how long, six, seven months, but I go on live. So for those that um, are in looking for someone to answer your live psychic questions, in other words, you ask me a question, whether it's future, past, um, it's all in the moment. So being that we are connected to a sense, we're connected, I could see and feel your energy as well as a pet. Um, it doesn't matter. A living being is a living being. Um, so whether you want to call me a psychic or a prophet, it doesn't matter. Um, to me, they're the same. They're the same. Unless what they is told to you does not come to pass, then of course, it's they are not a real prophet. So psychic medium, and then I also do body scans for your health. In other words, I could see any imbalances inside of your body. And then the spirit will tell you what you need to, to do to get your body back into health. All right, so I'm going to do the stars. I go on live, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time every night, or sometimes it could be 7 p.m. or sometimes 9 p.m. Sometimes I'll go on for half an hour, sometimes an hour, and then come back on. So, right now, I am doing the Star of Aries. This is just going to be a general. Remember, this is for all general, for all the Aries. Yes, it works with the astrology. It really does. That's why this is a general. If you want to private with me, it is Sela Adams 1 on Gmail. Okay, I'm going into the spirit. I don't teach tarot. I give tarot. All right, starting out with Aries, a lot of you, who. All right, I don't like that when I see, uh, when I see, uh, yeah, the nine swords, but good. So starting out with uh, a lot of you are being supervised. Some of you are being watched, which is good because what I'm seeing is for your health. A lot of you are not, you're on your last, you're like on your last straw. Um, and for a lot of you, this is the ending. This is the ending of this emotional uh, imbalance, this emotional strain that you are feeling, anxiety, whatever it is, this is really bad. Uh, this is the Nine of Swords, so this is, uh, yeah, it's definitely not good. Uh, of course, uh, this could be any sign. I'm not going to name signs uh, because it could be any sign. Uh, so, but yeah, you know, this will be an ending to a lot of this stress or a lot of this anxiety or illness, but someone is literally watching you, um, to making sure you're okay, whatever the case may be, whatever the case may be, but this is going away. It's ending because your emotions will start improving. A lot of things, uh, fluent influence, uh, influences, um, there's just been so many things against uh, against Aries, against you. <clears throat> but you're still continuing, and you're working on uh, you're working on uh, your health, or you're working on uh, this is a material world. And you're working on your emotions, and you're working whatever this uh, Whatever this is you're going on, whether it's in your heart, you took a loss, or it's in your mind, or it's in your body, or it's all three. But I don't see it's all three because this is coming to an end. It's coming to an end, and I'm feeling more of like a depression, stress. I'm feeling this is more mental. This is more in the mind. And for some of you, you just can't, uh, you just can't move right now. You can't make a move. You're literally stuck stuck in your mind about something you're working on, something you're trying to achieve, even though you might have went inside yourself, you're looking for the answers, you really are seeking. Uh, and that's good because a lot of you that, you know, maybe, again, you are still being watched. I'm still sensing you're, someone is still watching you. Uh, this could be an attorney. This could be a friend. Uh, this could be whatever you would know, you would know in this situation, but you are being observed. You could be being watched by your work. Your work is, uh, being recognized. Also, you are refining your work. 
I, you were not happy with it. Uh, it was causing, it was causing stress. It was causing, and a lot of you, this could be marriage. This could be marriage instead of health. So a lot of you, it's, it's coming to an end because you're stressed. So the situation that you're in, uh, whether you're, it's a partnership, whatever, but you're continuing to work, you went in within yourself, you've seen what you had to do, you've got the idea, you are being observed for your skills, you are refining your skills, messages start to come in, in and out, but then there's a slight tower mo a moment when maybe you receive a message, yes, when you're, for a lot of Aries, this is a general, for a lot of the Aries, they're all on the same by a rhythm. Aries. Yes, this could be um, a rash. This could be uh, news. Uh, whether, it's the king of swords, so it's good news. It's trustworthy news, but it's sharp news. But it's with following with the ten of cups. It's good news. Uh, for some of you that's been waiting on some kind of news, some kind of information, whether it's health. Uh, finances or love, but with a lot, of, but with this offer for some of you, you might not be interested, or you cannot take the offer that the King of Swords sends to you, which will be a Page of Swords, Page of Cups. So that could be separate. This could be somebody you know that offers you assistance, that offers you help, uh, because someone is literally cannot move. They cannot. And they're having struggles. They're struggling. So, yeah, this could be physically, inwardly, and outwardly for some of you. Uh, for some of you, this is uh, court-related. This is going to be court-related, and it's going to go towards you. The emperor is looking right at the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles also could be, of course, a Libra. So I do see a lot. I see a fire sign. I see a lot of. I see a lot of. I see two earth signs. I see water signs. I mean, all the signs are here. I really don't care to do signs. And let me pull two more cards just to see. I want to see about what time. Uh, this could be five days. Uh, this could be next week or the beginning of the following week. Uh, for a lot of you, yeah, you are healing. <coughs> you are healing from this situation, but even though you're healing now and the situation is gone, uh, you know, you might be feeling lonely, uh, alone, you know, but yet you love, you love your singleness. You love being, uh, being, you know, by yourself. You love that. And that's what you needed. And for some of you, you're healing. Uh, you are a healer. And you are grounded. You weren't feeling as grounded. You're becoming more grounded. You're becoming to uh, where you could forgive others and trust others a little bit more than you used to. Uh, a little warning on a red flag for some Aries. There might be someone that shows up. This he's, uh, he's not stable and his word is not good. All right, so that's for Aries. Let me get a general overall. Number. Five and a five. Five plus five is ten. So you are at a number one. So number one again. Yeah, four. So four to five days uh, again next week. This is Cedar Adams. I do go live 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time on my station. Mediumship and live questions. So enjoy Aries. <laughs>